And welcome back to Champion High School, where Warren JFK has a 28-14 lead. Of course, we had that eclipse earlier. That was the sun, however. And did you get your eclipse glasses and take a look? Yeah, actually, I traveled out of town for the eclipse. I was in Greenville, South Carolina. I was right around the epicenter. So I got to see about a minute and 10 or so seconds of, uh, of total eclipse. It was unique. Didn't quite get as dark here. It's pretty dark here. Pretty cool here at Champion High School. We've seen a very entertaining first half of play. Kennedy with a two-touchdown advantage as the two teams are making their way back out onto the field. Coach Bayek coming back out, and this champion team will have to start out on the defensive side as Kennedy will get the football first after deferring. Let's take a look back at our keys to the game. First of all, getting defensive. For Warren JFK, that defense was so dominant throughout the regular season, throughout postseason play, and this Kennedy defense, I'd say, mission accomplished. Absolutely. They've been dominant all, all night tonight as well. You know, only allowed 27 yards. Both touchdowns are on special teams. Harness the hype. Of course, in week one, there's such a buildup. There's such an enthusiasm from both teams, and you've got to kind of curtail that as you come out and take the field and stay as disciplined. How do you think the two teams did in that regard? We saw penalties early on, but they really were able to get those in check in the second quarter, so I really think they've done a nice job there as well. And finally, what's trending? Of course, this is the first meeting between these two in about 15 years. Kennedy has won all 12 of the meetings, and they have done so in dominant fashion. You look at that scoreboard, champion is hung in there. They have done what they've done on the defensive side and used special teams to help the cause. That's why they're only down in this one by two touchdowns. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Champion has been able to do some things on special teams that just, you know, you generally don't see. You know, two kickoff returns, about 85-plus yards, you know, back-to-back -back in the second quarter there. So that was huge for them. But, you know, as you just think about, you know, everything with this series, you know, Ch Champion's had a little bit of struggles with JFK. JFK has done some things at their own will. And, you know, this... 14 points so far is way more than the average the champions used to score with JFK. So hopefully they're able to go into halftime there and just kind of regroup. And you'll see right now, Chad, this is something we talked about earlier too, stretching guys out. Obviously it's important to stretch them out you know, after halftime any week, but week one is so important. Your body is just not used to the grind of four quarters and all the plays and everything. You saw Nate Stallman getting stretched out and he electrified the home crowd in that second quarter and he came up with a big play on special teams with a long kick return and let's take a look at it here a breakdown for kennedy but an outstanding job by champion and on that return it was jordan melton bobbing and weaving his way and then he's off to the races yeah what you're going to see is both kicks went to the right and then ultimately the, the runs came all the way back to the left side of the field so this one was just straight down the field straight speed the next one you're going to see a little bit different situation, Stallman. He does the same sort of thing. The ball's going to bounce. He, he does a nice job of securing it. And when you see when you see him cut right here, you kind of just had the same feeling, like, uh-oh, this could happen again. He did a nice job of high-stepping there and then just ran through a couple of shoestring tackles. And right here at the very end, nice effort the entire way by Merlot, the kicker. But Stallman ultimately was able to get it in and make this place go crazy. Nate Stallman told me, Recently, he said, you know what? I've always watched the game of the week growing up, going through seasons. He said, I always wished I had an opportunity to be on the game of the week. Well, young man, you're on, and you just electrified the crowd and allowed the entire area to see what you can do. Yeah, absolutely. He seems to be an interesting young man. You had talked earlier about him, him liking and idolizing Barry Sanders. Yep. And I got to admit, that kind of makes me feel a little bit old now thinking about that because, <laughs> you know, Barry Sanders was when I was growing up, you know, he was the big name, him and Emmett Smith. And now guys are talking about Zeke, you know, and they're talking about Le'Veon Bell. So to hear him kind of mention Barry Sanders, and we had talked earlier about patience. You know, there's probably no more patient running back ever in the game than Barry Sanders. Vision, making guys miss, just unbelievable. So our halftime report is complete. JFK will get the football, as you see Alec Brzezinski and Griffin Howe wishing each other well. And it'll be Warren JFK to get the football first to start things here in the third quarter. What do you think is key and pivotal 
for either side here tonight. Well, if you're JFK, you are really just going to come back out and keep doing what you're doing. You know, the special teams need to straighten out. Otherwise, this game would be a shutout, you know. Um, if you're champion, you'd really like to see a quick three and out, you know, try and secure field position here on the first possession of the second half. And, and then on offense, you just kind of got to figure out what, you know, what that spark's going to be. Maybe they're going to have to go to a trick play or something just to sort of get the JFK defense on, you know, on their heels a little bit, not knowing exactly what's going to happen. So I want to mention, too, we had a nice shot of the referees here before the, uh, the second half starts. You know, they're doing a nice job tonight with, you know, it being week one. You know, sometimes you got new guys in the crew and, you know, it takes a lot of guys to be on the same page. So a nice job by the officials tonight, uh, you know, making this game go pretty good. You know, there's a couple calls at the beginning, as we talked about, that were offsides and things of that nature. But overall, Terry Wentworth has done a great job of keeping his crew in line. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the second half. This one is far from over. Football is teed up by Noah Worley. And back deep for Kennedy. It's Thomas Yanovich. So Worley makes the approach. And it is a high twirling kick taken by Brzezinski across the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Brzezinski written down at the 49-yard line. Talk about patience, and he did a great job, and Kennedy will start out in picture-perfect field position. Yeah, that's what I'm sitting here shaking my head at right now. You know, we just talked about field position, and now they've already got the ball right around the 50-yard line. I'm not so sure that Champions had an offensive play on the other side of the 50. Alec Brzezinski is a special kind of talent. According to JFK head coach Jeff Bayek, there you see his numbers, had a monster state championship game. Very versatile. Coach Bayek said of Brzezinski, he disrupts opposing offenses at will. Edmondson takes the pitch, looking to find an opening. Reverses his tracks, cuts it back, over right side, Edmondson down the sideline, 10-5, touchdown. Barry Sanders-esque, would you say? A bug on a rug, according to Jeff Bayek, Edmondson with a home run early in the third quarter. You're going to see a toss right, and then everything else is Edmondson. You see he's going to make a guy you know, just sort of squirm around him right here. Nice cutback. And then everything else is just vision. Watch this cut right here. You think he's going to break it way to the outside. One cut upfield, switches the ball to the outside arm, and then just pure speed. Jordan Edmondson makes it 34-14. And now Merlot on for the extra point. Snap back, ball down, kick is up, and the kick is Good. 11.39 to play here in the third quarter. It is Warren JFK 35, champion 14 on the high school football game of the week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. It's the summer clean them up and move them out sale at the Stadium GM Superstore. You can save hundreds, even thousands, and get reduced prices on every pre-owned car on our lot. Like this Chevy Cruze for as low as $149 a month with zero down. We've got a whole lot of trucks starting from just $159 a month with zero down. And if you've had bad credit, we're now taking all credit apps so we can help you get the financing you deserve. At the store where zero down delivers every day. The Stadium Used Car Superstore in Salem. Just when you think you don't have it in you, they encourage you to push harder and further in. This is all very new to me and enjoyable. One step at a time. I started out like three times a week. Now I'm doing four or five times sessions a week. They keep you scheduled so that you do continue to um, meet your goals that you set for yourself. Do leave feeling better than when you came in. Get fit today for a better tomorrow. Fitness together. Come be our next success story. It's official. We love football at Fred Martin Ford almost as much as we love our customers. So don't be penalized by high prices from those other dealers. There's no unsportsmanlike conduct here. Just honest deals and great service every day. So sit back and enjoy the game and let us do what we do best, getting you the great deal on your next car or truck. Come meet the winning team at Fred Martin Ford where we sell for less, a lot less. 
Life is full of emotions, so let How I Met Your Mother put a smile on your face. So I'm thinking of texting back a winky, smiley face. Get in touch with your feelings. When I get sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. Give me multiple high fives. Money, suits, and sex. My life rocks. Because Bonnie and the gang know how to get you in the mood. Based on her texts, she's dirty, dyslexic, and wants to 96 me. Semicolon and parentheses. On How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 5 on MyYTV. Can you see through my blouse? Nope. I'll just have to make it work. Highly intelligent comedy. I've never been a loser. How do you guys do it? Hot in Cleveland. <laughs> Hot in Cleveland, weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. A beautiful night here in Champion. Week one of the high school football season. Warren JFK 35, Champion 14. And it did not take the Eagles long to find pay dirt. Jordan Edmondson with a 50-yard touchdown run to tack on six more. Short kick is fielded at the 30. Fielded by Alex Crawford. And he promptly takes a knee. And now the champion offensive group will come back out. And again, if you're the Golden Flashes, that's not kind of how you wanted to start things right off the get-go. No, absolutely not. You know, just one play there. Ultimately, it started off on special teams with the, the return. They got a good field position. And then just a little bit of an over-pursuit, a couple of missed tackle opportunities. And then, you know, now you're down 21 again. So... It's okay. You just kind of got to regroup. The nice thing is there's still a lot of football left, but it'll be interesting to see what type of offensive attack they have here in the second half. A receiver to each side. Golden flashes will keep it to the ground. Good, strong, hard running up near the 34-yard line. Again, that's Nate Stallman. He continues to be the featured back and he showed his skills. Returning a kick for a touchdown. Yeah, Stallman... A hard bruiser, you know, really brings the power. Did a nice job there just keeping his feet moving to get a couple yards and ultimately put himself in the second and five scenario for champions. So that's that's really positive. You know, they didn't have those situations in the first half. You know, they were always faced with second and long, third and long. I remember it was third and 30 at one point yeah. in the first quarter. Second down and five upcoming for champion, a receiver to each side. Stallman. Gives to Stallman, and he is leveled by Yanovich at the 36-yard line. And, boy, Yanovich is just a hard-nosed player. He's all over the field. He's a hard hitter. Safety. We're going to have to talk about Peyton Comer, though, here. Did a great job of just driving through the line. And you know, before Stallman had the football, Comer was in the backfield right in his face. And that really makes it difficult for the running back to sort of gauge where he's going to go with the ball in his hand. So an important third down and three play upcoming for champion. If you're Coach Wagner's team, you want to convert, you want to possess the football because Kennedy has shown the ability to hold on to it, run the clock, grind it down, run play over the right side up near the 39. It's a gain of two. It's going to be short of a first down by about one. Decision time. I I wouldn't want to be Coach Wagner here because we've talked all night long about how important field position is. But this is probably the best opportunity he's had to, you know, go on some sort of a, a drive here if he can if he can get a first down. But it looks like he's going to play the, the statistics. And it looks as if the spot is not even at the 39. In fact, it's at the 38, which brings up a fourth and two. Alec Brzezinski in punt formation. To return it, that is. And the kick is away from Andrew Russell. Berzinski has it across the 25, 30, 35, 40. Berzinski spinning free, bouncing it to the outside. Alec Berzinski, one man to beat, and he's dragged down inside the 20. And there's a penalty flag that comes down as well. It may be coming back. We're going to see what the call is here, but most likely it's a block in the back or a holding call. The flag sits at about the 43-yard line of JFK. Hold on. 
So it's going to all come back for Brzezinski, but boy, he's shown some speed as well for Coach Bayek and company. Yeah, that was a nice punt, actually. You know, Worley put the ball way up in the air, but just a nice job overall by Brzezinski of just making reads, vision, nice balance. You can see the whole entire time. That's just strength, you know. Got so much running for you. It makes a guy mess. And then Worley was able to get him down. Check that. That's Andrew Russell, the punter. He was able to get Brzezinski down. But this one's going to go way back here. So, you know, this kind of worked out ultimately in, in Coach Wagner's favor. He was looking to gain some field position, and that he did, albeit it was due to a penalty. So they're going to spot it all the way back at the 15-yard line. So first and 10 for Kennedy from deep in their own territory with 8.54 left in the third. Nathan Russell getting taped up. I think they're going to be explaining this to Coach Bake a little bit, though, because it, I think they're trying to figure out why the ball is so far back. I'm not so sure that the punt itself didn't, you know, get to about the 30 and the holding call wasn't right there. I think they're going to move this football. Um, they're going to stick with it. So, again, this is good for champion. That's what they were looking for. They were looking for field position, and right now they've got it on their side. They just need to come strong here. You'll see a blitz coming. Low snap, and Valent takes it, and then is rolled down. I think his knee touched even before he was hit. So Kennedy moving in reverse. No, it wasn't even a low snap. It was just the turf monster got Valent. Yeah, he, he was, took him down. Yeah. Ball actually never hit the turf, as you mentioned. The turf monster shows up generally two to three times a game. You know, sometimes not as visible, but... Uh, you know, the quarterback there. He's scary <laughs> and sometimes embarrassing. Absolutely. Second down and 14. They spot the ball at the 11-yard line. Greg Vallant back to throw. Looking right side. Going up top. It is incomplete. Pass was intended for Thomas Yanovich. First incompletion of the night for Greg Vallant. You got a chance to see his arm there. That's a nice spiral. Nice football. Threw that ball a good 35, 40 yards on a rope. You're going to see this ball float up into the night. That's a nice-looking pass. And that's really a good throw, too, as we talked about this earlier. If his guy doesn't catch it, no one's going to come down with it. So, you know, always gives himself a chance to live to see another down. But a critical, critical play, maybe the most critical play of the game so far here. If Champion can hold them on third and 14, you know, they can creep back into this, uh, you know, within two-possession game, potentially. Third down and 14, they spot the ball at the 11-yard line. Valent back to throw, looking to the near side, firing, incomplete. Second straight incompletion. He was looking for Highland Burton. The pass was just a little bit off the mark. Good route run by Highland Burton, but it drops to the grass. And it'll be fourth down and 14, and Kennedy will have to punt. Yeah, that's a timing thing, you know. Burton didn't get out of his break as fast as I think Valent was expecting, so the ball was a little bit further away, but ultimately now you're you're, you know, you're asking for a, a nice punt here. This is exactly what Champion wanted. They wanted to get field position back in their hands, and you know credit to Coach Wagner, faced with the, the short yardage situation on fourth down, but he chose the punt. Valent to kick it away. It is a wobbly kick angled towards the near sideline. And it'll roll out of bounds at the champion 49-yard line. So 7.54 to play here in quarter number three. JFK 35. Champion 14. Say, so head to WKBN.com and click on Big 20 Twitter Sports to see the top high school football linemen in the Valley. It's sponsored by the Moransky Companies, which recognizes the top linemen in the Valley with our five blocks of granite. Check out the top players in the Valley by logging on to WKBN.com and click on Big 22. Champion football at the 49. I think we're going to get our first play here, potentially a champion crossing over the 50 on offense. So, again, I know it's a small thing, but it just goes to show you how, you know, making the right calls as a coach really pays off in these situations. Nick Stallman brings Nate Stallman in motion. And they will give it to Stallman, and he's blasted down there to make the tackle, Alec Brzezinski. And that was quite a wallop. Yeah, Brzezinski, we've seen this happen a lot. 
You're going to see on the toss jet sweep, if you will, Brzezinski just comes up, lowers his shoulder, does a nice job of wrapping the legs, and you'll just see Nate Stallman kind of lay there for a second afterward like, geez, oh, man, I didn't have a chance. Now it looks like he's cramping up a little bit of that ankles give him a little bit. So Stallman is able to walk off the field under his own power, but back to Alec Brzezinski. Coach Bank told me that even if Brzezinski doesn't make the tackle on a certain play, or even if he doesn't knock a pass down or block it to the turf or come up with a sack, he said everything is changed in a given play. He disrupts everything, the timing of the play, and that's something because even if you're not necessarily involved, you're still impacting the play. Yeah, so what he's really saying is he's not necessarily the big stat guy. You know, he may not have all the tackles. He may not have all the sacks or interceptions, although he does have a nice resume. But it's the little things that coaches look for. You hear coaches talk a lot about things that are hard to teach. You know, he just knows where to be, has natural instincts. And you just can't have enough of these types of players on your team. They just go a long, long way, when, especially once it gets late into the postseason where errors can be so critical, you know, almost an extension to the coaching staff on the field. I asked him what he thought about the defense this year. He said two words. He said endless possibilities. Well, those numbers you just saw on your screen show a very dominant defense. Champion trying to dump it off. Some late pushing and shoving at the tail end of the play, and that was intended for Kenneth Postalweight. And... I love the call on the screen. You know, you got a lot of excitement with a, with, a, with a negative play there on defense. So you try to get those defensive linemen coming up field, trying to dump the screen over. But a nice job by the defensive end, Isaac Hadley. We've seen him at the fullback position score a couple touchdowns. He puts his hand down on defense, and he rushes the passer, recognizes the play, and almost came up with an interception. Third down and long for champion upcoming. Third and 14, in fact. The line of scrimmage is the 45-yard line. So the golden flashes will have to dial something up to keep the drive alive. Nick Stallman with an empty backfield. Now bring a man in motion. He'll keep it himself, and he spun down right at about the 49, maybe the 50. It's well shy of a first down. And it looks like the punt unit is going to come back out. Andrew yeah. Russell. Yeah, after what you went through in the first half, you just cannot go for it on a long distance here and, and give up that field position. So hats off to the defense of JFK. Three plays, one yard. You, know, you just talked about this last year. The same thing's happening this year. The guys up front controlling the line of scrimmage, linebacking core, able to run around, make some tackles. Guys in the secondary not afraid to stick their hat in there and get physical. JFK looks pretty good for the first for the first game of the year on defense. Andrew Russell boots this one high in the air, but very short. And it'll nestle down inside the 35. 6.15 to play in the third quarter. 35-14, Warren JFK. You're watching live coverage of the high school football game of the week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Good ideas catch on fast. Good clean food, even faster. Now delivering for lunch and dinner. Panera, food as it should be. Is back or neck pain keeping you from doing the things you love? Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Venton, Director of the Pain Relief and Wellness Strategy Center. Our team of professionals is dedicated to finding and eliminating the root cause of your pain. I was suffering from major back pain, couldn't move, couldn't even get out of bed some mornings. I ended up here. Um, Dr. Benton put me on the Vax D, and it was amazing. It was almost a miracle. It completely changed my life. Stop what you're trying to do right now and come here. Call now for your free consultation and let us help you keep moving. It's the summer clearance event going on now at Bob and Chuck Eddy Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We have two locations with over 75 Grand Cherokees to choose from, and we're selling every one of those Grand Cherokees at $500 below friends and family pricing. That means you save thousands on purchase or lease. How about leasing a Laredo for only $249 a month? So when it comes to service, savings, selection, and great deals on Jeeps, remember, you can't beat us. 
33 WYTV News is new. Different from what you've seen from us before, we're more than just news. We are your news. These are your neighborhoods, and you deserve a news station that's out there in the community finding stories that matter to you. These are your schools, and you deserve to know that your children are getting the best education possible. And these are your jobs, and you deserve to know everything that could affect them. Local news from local people. We are your community news station. 33 WYTV. Wherever, whoever you are, we'll deliver lunch or dinner right to you. Panera, food as it should be. And welcome back. 6.15 left to play in the third quarter. Warren JFK with a 35-14 lead. And the Eagles have it first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. JFK brings a man in motion. Valid on the keeper, bouncing it to the outside, then to the inside, and he muscles his way up near the 45. It's a Kennedy first down. Great patience shown again by the Eagles quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. Great job. You're going to see here. Fakes the handoff, and it goes right up the gut. Does a nice job of following his blocks. He's definitely a dual threat, you know, and a weapon that JFK is going to look to utilize all year long. And that, that offensive line for JFK is starting to get well oiled together. You know, you see a lot of holes opening up. Now you're seeing some longer runs. So hats off to the big fellas up front. They spot the ball at the 46-yard line, and the give is to Yanovich, sweeping the right side. Yanovich barreling his way, and he's up near another Kennedy first down. This is where conditioning starts to play a little factor, especially for champion. The defense has been out there a lot. You're not seeing those yellow shirts run to the football as much as you saw earlier on. It's not necessarily of will. It's of, of conditioning, you know. So, And that's where you'll start to see stuff like that happen. Guys sneak, you know, a couple, three, four, five more yards on a play. You know, it's all about that conditioning, running to the football. Greg Fallon looks like he's balked up a little bit from when we saw him last year. With the rushing yards, JFK is really putting together a solid effort in week one, and it's not just one player. Lots of different folks getting carries. Looks like Hadley took that one. Yeah, definitely spreading the love around with the football tonight. Using three or four different guys, carrying the football, throwing the football. You see those big guys up front, number 77, Abraham Hindi. 68 at right guard is Peyton Comer. The center is number 58, Chris Urchek. At left guard is number 54, Andrew Grimmett. And at left tackle is Alex Hernandez. So those guys, mostly juniors and seniors, up, up front getting the job done. Second down and one from the 31. We're inside of five minutes left to play in the third quarter. Valet will toss it. Edmondson falling forward. And we'll see where they spot it. It's right at the sticks. And it may be a first down. They may measure. We'll see. Nope, they'll say move them. First and 10. Warren JFK. Yeah, one of those situations where the play happened right in front of the sticks. Officials able to get a nice look at it and said first down, Eagles. So Kennedy continues to grind it out. This is what we talked about earlier, too. You see JFK not in a hurry. Nope. You know, just let things happen. They understand that, for the most part, they've controlled this game with their offenses and defensive lines, and they'd like to continue to do that for the rest of the game. They will pitch it to Edmondson. Edmondson finds a seam. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! 30-yard touchdown run for Jordan Edmondson, and he is having himself quite a night. Yeah, that puts him over the 100-yard uh, mark on the night, 12 carries for 13 carries, checked out for 110 yards, and his third touchdown, you're going to see here, nice speed burst. At first, patient, making sure the block's where they wanted, and then once he sees the hole, he just shoots right through it, and then watch this at the very end. This is the, the balance that he has to stay in balance and tightrope it. Edmondson making an impact. Merlot with the extra point try. It is up and it is good. 4.02 to play here in the third quarter. And just like that, it is Warren JFK 42, champion 14. 
An impressive looking drive from Kennedy. Yeah, and this is the thing we talked about at halftime with the big 22. You got a guy, Jordan Edmondson now, 110 yards in the third quarter, three touchdowns. You know, you start to stack those types of nights up for four, five, six, seven weeks in a row, and he could very well find himself in the mix as well. So very impressive running back, very impressive team so far tonight for JFK. Outside of two plays on special teams, you know, technically this could be 42-0. You're looking at a whole different scenario right now. So JFK picking up right where it left off from a season ago. This is where it gets difficult now as a coach, right? The play, the players sort of, you know, got settled in. You're starting to get a big lead. And this is where guys can tend to think that it's easy and it just happens this way. That's when you're going to see these coaches actually work a little bit harder to make sure that guys still run into the football, not standing around. You don't want to see guys get rolled up, you know, staring at the pile and things like that. So this is where the coaches are going to have to be a little bit more on their players to keep their head in the game and, and finish this one off appropriately. Just got a note from champion baseball coach Rick Yager along with Brock Trimmer who are watching the fire department here not far so hope you're enjoying the game broadcast as champion will now have it first down and 10 congratulations we said it earlier can't say it enough for what that champion baseball and softball team was able to do coach Yager a great guy and what a team that was last year and they're poised and ready to make another run again here next spring. I think that just talks too about the community. You yeah. Know? It just talks about the, the support system that's in this in this town, in this area. You know, a lot of good leaders and, and making sure people are doing the right things. You know, success is not by accident when you have that much success in one year. So you have a lot, you know, a lot of good student athletes that, you know, come out and work hard and you know, obviously get good grades and do good things. So hats off to everybody that's working hard in this champion community and the, and the whole program. All the fans flocking all over the state to watch the Flashes win. Great looking pitch and catch inside the 50, down inside the 45. A heck of a grab, streaking down that sideline, hauling it in. It was Ryan Douglas. Yeah, nice, nice catch here. You're going to see the throw behind him a little bit. It was almost like a back shoulder throw. <laughs> Look at that one-handed grab. Yeah. My, oh, my. That coverage was pretty good. It sure was. I have a feeling that you'll add this one to your highlight reel for the rest of the season. That's a nice catch. And, you know, it's just, a, again, the little little plays that the champion needs that got the ball across the 50 there. And now let's see what happens. You know, you just want to finish out strong regardless of whether, you know, it ends up being a victory or not. You want to put some plays together, get that offense rolling. First down at 10 for champion. Golden Flash is trailing at 42-14. Nick Skullman awaits the snap. Here it comes. He's back to throw. Looking to the near side. Floating it downfield. And it's incomplete. Nathan Russell was the intended target. That's a nice throw. Put the ball in a good area for his, his player, Russell, to go up and have a shot at it. And... If we get another look at this one, I believe this was a catchable pass. Uh, you know, a difficult one, especially at nighttime. The ball's getting thrown way up in there into the lights. But if you see this pass here, great coverage as well. That one kind of just hit off his elbow, you know. So the young guy, quarterback, you know, Stallman showing a nice arm, you know, showing some poise, not giving up back there, not afraid to draw back against this, this defense of, uh, of JFK. Second down and 10. From the Warren JFK 43-yard line, here are the numbers on Stallman. Five completions. Stallman back to throw again, looking near side, trying to dump it off. Incomplete, and a wicked lick delivered by Alec Brzezinski. That's one of those that will probably hurt a little bit in the morning. Yep. You know, that was kind of like one of those ribcage shots with the helmet right to the ribs. You'll see this here, this pass. And this is just, you know, a, a little bit of a young quarterback. His head never left the receiver, you know, so it allows those guys to come in there and make those big hits like that. But I have a lot of faith that, you know, what we're seeing tonight out of Nick Stallman as a, as a sophomore quarterback, you know, the game doesn't appear to be too fast for him. You know, he's getting the ball where the coaches are looking to. For the most part, he's throwing, you know, highly catchable football passes. So there's a lot of small things that can really – row for champion here throughout the season so it's third down and 10 from the 43 stallman trying to 
keep the drive alive. Low snap. He bobbles it and tries to dump it off towards that far sideline. Incomplete in hot pursuit for JFK was Isaac Hadley. So Stallman did a good job just to fire that one and not take the sack. Yeah. A little bit of a high snap there. He fumbled it around. And as you mentioned, Hadley was right there at his face trying to get a sack on the, on the season there. That's a close one, you know. You, I don't know if I see a receiver in the area, and you know, and there it is, right there. So a nice job of seeing his guy, and and ultimately, you know, getting rid of that, and not not allowing the sack to happen. And it looks like Champion will keep the offensive unit out there and go for it, trailing it 42-14. So the Golden Flashes will send out a four-wide receiver set, one back in the backfield. Stallman takes the snap. He's back to throw. Here comes that blitz and the Kennedy defense right there. And it's a swarming sack for Warren JFK. And a turnover on downs. That defense picking up right where it left off last year. Absolutely. Number 68, the junior defensive tackle, Peyton Comer. You're going to see the pressure come from the linebackers. And then when he steps up, Comer's able to wrap him up there. He's got Hadley with him and the two big guys along with number 28, Dominic Scott. They're able to drive him into the ground. So a turnover on downs for a champion here with just under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Say, watch for the Dunkin' Donuts run of the week every Friday night at 11. And also go to WKBN.com. For the scoop on high school football, it is sponsored by Bojo's Creamery. First down and 10 from the 46-yard line. Sweeping the right side, it is Yanovich. And he's pushed into that Kennedy sideline. Holding. Penalty marker down. Number 77. Offense. Abraham Hindi is the guilty party for JFK. So back the Eagles up. So we're inside of three minutes left to play in the third. Tenth penalty of the night. Five per side, as you see. And aside from those early miscues for Kennedy as far as penalties go, they haven't done much else wrong tonight. A couple of breakdowns on special teams, but again, you got to tip your cap to the champion return men because they had quite an effort. It's run play up the middle for JFK. On the carry, it was Dominic Scott. And you're going to see here on this play, champions going back to what they did in the first half. They're doing run blitzes, and watch what happens is they're blowing through the line, but they're happening so fast that then that's creating holes. And so when you have a little bit of a delay run there, if the, if the guy coming through the line isn't settled down, looking for the ball, you know, he can run right past him, and then that can create some, some gaps, you know, in that second level defense. Second down and 19, upcoming. As we approach the two minute mark, Valent on the keeper. Up the middle, rumbling his way across the 45, and ridden down at the 49. It's the thing, Valen has great instinct to find out where the opening is, and he has great speed to get there. Yeah, and, and you talk about having a senior signal caller like Valen, you know, they're running an offense that puts a lot of pressure on his shoulders, and most importantly, his head. He's got to have his eyes locked on certain players. He has to understand when to give the ball and when to keep it. And, you know, it's just really a benefit when you have a returning starter that knows how to, you know, work the chains, knows the situation, you know, and can keep everybody calm and collective. It'll bring up third down and seven for Warren JFK. Highland Burton split near side to the left. Valent to throw, looking for Burton. Burton makes the catch, first down, and he is going to be written into the near sideline, but it is going to be enough for a Warren JFK first down. What a trusty target is Highland Burton. Yep. It's a, it's a common connection tonight. We've seen Burton catch a lot of passes, and this one just another nice throw. 
Nice catchable football. You know, coaches talk a lot about the catchability of a football from a quarterback. You know, sometimes they throw the ball too hard. Sometimes the ball's not a tight spiral. So far, from what we've seen tonight from Valent is a nice catchable ball, and obviously it's worked to their favor a lot. First down and 10 for Warren JFK. From the champion 40. Up the middle, gaping hole. And it's down to the 30-yard line. Dominic Scott on the carry. And boy, now Kennedy's picking up yardage in chunks. Well, what you're seeing, and again, I don't want to sound repetitive, but you're seeing them bring the guys from the second level. The, the safeties are starting to blitz a little bit. The linebackers are blitzing. And, and that's all in well as long as you stay gap sound and everyone holds up. But once you start to you know make a little crack in the defense, and you're going to see some of these long ones, and that's how you see the, you know 310 yards, and I'm going to say at least 200 and some of those are on the ground tonight. Much has been made, and justifiably so, about the Kennedy defense. The offense flexing its muscles tonight as well. Kennedy will keep it to the ground over the left side, inside the 30, and good, strong, hard running by Isaac Hadley. And with that, I think we're going to call it quits here in quarter number three as the final seconds tick on down. So, three quarters in the books here tonight at Champion High School. We head to the fourth quarter with your score. Warren JFK, 42, Champion, 14. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. I saw Riley after he had been having pain for two years. A lot of my patients are very active. If you put them through a surgery that's going to take them away from those activities they love for a long period of time, it hinders their ability to enjoy life. With this minimally invasive image guided technique, he had no downtime, no crutches, no incision. And with this procedure, he's in and out in one day and he's back to doing what he loves. You each drive a Ford pickup, right? Yes, sir. I'm going to show you a next generation pickup. Awesome. Let's do this. The bed is made of high strength steel, which is less susceptible to punctures than aluminum. The stronger, the better. And best of all, this new truck is actually <laughs> the current Chevy Silverado. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Qualified lessees can get this Chevy Silverado All Star Edition for around $259 a month. Plus, current Chevy owners and lessees get an additional $1,500 cash allowance on this Silverado All Star. See your local Chevy dealer today. Inner Circle Pizza Canfield. Come see why it's much, much more than a pizzeria. The 42-seat granite bar and eight HD TVs make this the best seat in the house to watch your favorite sporting events. The casual setting is perfect for family meals and get-togethers. Enjoy all the original icy favorites plus specialty pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and daily specials. Dine in or carry out. Inner Circle Pizza Canfield, where food and fun are endless. Ironwood Boulevard, across from the Hampton Inn. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. 12 minutes to play here in Champion. All set for the fourth quarter, 42-14, Warren JFK in command and trying to punch it in again. Chad Perspinski, Brian Malott with you. And before the snap, we have movement across champion. And coach went defense. Nothing like a free first down to start the fourth quarter for Warren JFK. Not that they need any assistance tonight, but uh, they'll take it. So a nice job of their offensive line, holding the water, you know, and understanding what to do. You know, that's nice things they get to practice, if you will, to know, you know, in this first week is trying some different things out, different snap counts, different formations, different guys in different positions. 
Warren JFK on the move again. Run play Scott barreling his way. Taking the pile with them inside the five. And it'll be first and goal, Warren JFK. These are valuable rep reps for a guy like Scott, you know, Dominic Scott. You never know what can come throughout the season. So the more guys that get carries and get comfortable with the, the, the play calls and, you know, the different sorts of things, the better for this uh, this JFK team that obviously has playoff aspirations. So 42-14 is our score. Kennedy trying for the exclamation point. Valent fakes the handoff. No, he does give it up the middle. Fumble, fumble. And it's a fumbled football picked up by Champion. And the Golden Flashes come up with a big stop. That's a shot in the arm. Yeah, the ball kind of bounced out of his hand there. It might have been a mix, mix of communication between quarterback and running back. Here we'll see it again. A nice snap and... Just on the read, the ball kind of squirted it out. You're yeah, it looked see. like Valor was going to keep it. Yeah. And then, obviously, number 15 for champion. He's right there, Griffin Howell. A he's senior. had a good game. Yeah, he sure has. You know, he got dinged up a little bit, came back in. Obviously, he's battling. So, a nice stop there in the red zone for a champion. So, the golden flashes will operate from inside their 10 at the 6. First and 10. Nick Stolman will send out a bevy of receivers. Three to the left, one far side to the right. Stolman rolling, dumping, incomplete. That's good. It didn't look like anybody was in the vicinity. Yeah, you saw the ref sort of reach for his, uh, his, his flag, but then ultimately he kind of kept it intact. So he, he obviously found a receiver that he deemed was, was close enough, but... Um, you know, Chad, these are going to be valuable reps for champion, you know, regardless of the outcome of this game. You know, they've unfortunately had a lot of plays with their backs against the wall on offense inside their own 20-yard line. You know, that, that type of situation will happen again this season. And, you know, the more opportunities you get to get comfortable, not worried about where you're at in the field, the better, you know, for the future. So second down and 10 from the six for the champion Golden Flashes. Nathan Stallman flanks his brother Nick Stallman to the right. Nick Stallman back to throw, stepping up, flush from the pocket. He's across the 10. That lowers his shoulder and works his way to the 14. Brzezinski in to make the tackle for JFK. I like the finish there by Nick Stallman on that run, you know. Very smart to, to turn him to a running back, and you're going to see he's probably got the same traits as his brother. So watch as he tucks this. He's no longer quarterback. He's running back. And watch how he finishes this here. He puts his head down. He drives through the play. You know, that's a tough, tough young kid there. So it'll be third down and two following the gain of eight as we're inside of 11 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Champion has certainly shown some fight here tonight. Stolman takes the snap. He turns and gives good, strong running, but it's not going to be enough for a first down. Ball may have come loose. It did at the tail end of the play. Kennedy football. Yeah, that, that was right there at the very end. You're going to see number 51 for Warren JFK excited with what happened there. Nate Smith getting some action. You'll just see it's actually Isaac, Isaac Hadley, first one there, and then he goes to finish him off. I think it was 22 DeSalvo that forced that fumble. Safe to say, lots of white Kennedy jerseys, right? Swarming to the ball. And we have a new quarterback in for... Warren JFK, it is Christian Morantis, a six-foot sophomore. First and ten for JFK. At the 12-yard line, Morantis loses the football, now spins free, keeping the legs churning, and Morantis, good strong running. The ball may have even squirted free on that carry. Second down, though, they were able to recover it, so... A little bit of jitters, potentially. You know, the snap may have came up short, but, you know, just look at those shoes. 
got the red, white, and blue sort of yeah, shoes. Very, very great. patriotic. Absolutely. Again, valuable reps, though, for a team like JFK that has an opportunity to bring in the backup quarterback and, you know, let him see the speed and the action of a, of a varsity football game. Christian Morantis with an eye formation behind him. Long count. He turns and gives over the left side. Do you believe that was Hadley? It was. I don't know if they ever got him to the ground. <laughs> you got to love all the varying styles of running backs that this Kennedy team has. You've got the bruising back, and Hadley, Dominic Scott. Of course, you've got the speed burner, Jordan Edmondson, who's done such a terrific job. You've got, of course, Valen, who can throw it and put it on the ground. Third and three for Kennedy of the champion six-yard line. Dominic Scott is the tailback. Christian Morantis takes the snap, turns and gives to Scott, trying to find an opening. And it's an opening that didn't come. And so to bring up a fourth down play, you would imagine Kennedy would just go. Yeah. He'll keep the ball on the ground and he'll run, run another power play. You know, the thing I was looking at here too, Chad, to talk about JFK and a successful coach like Coach Big, it's really, they don't think about starting over. It's just reloading, you yep. know? And, and when you see the, the lineup that we have here, the starters, seven seniors on offense and four juniors, you know, they just were able to plug a couple of guys in with the guys that left, and it's, it's just really an amazing feat. Morantis lowering the shoulder, trying to push his way. Ahead for two, he dove at the tail end, but the whistles had blown. I don't think he got there. It's going to be close. We'll see. And again, it's big stops like that for champion that will help the cause and getting that confidence and taking some real positives. I think we're going to measure. Yeah. And you just saw the look on Coach Bennett's face. It's you just got to appreciate what he stands for. Yeah. You know, the, what, he, what he teaches the young guys. And just, you know, he said it in the, the clip that we showed during halftime, too. You just let yesterday go. Worry about today and tomorrow. And it's the same thing today. You know, watch it. Let the last play happen, you know, and just move on. And you'll see that you mentioned champion came up with a nice stop there on fourth down. So I don't think, Chad, you know, as we, we finish up this broadcast tonight, champion's defense is, is good. You know, it's a good defensive football team. Unfortunately for them, they had a couple of situations tonight on offense where they weren't able to get a couple of yards and put a couple of first downs together. But this game started over, and Champion was just able to get a couple of first downs. That defense has an opportunity to play a little bit different style. You know, so the 42 points that JFK put up on the board, I think, is a little bit you know misleading as to how good Champion's defense is. Each game, a building block throughout the season. Champion football, first and 10 from the three. We'll dump it off to the near side. Ryan Douglas breaking tackles, lowers the shoulder, and he crosses the 10. He's out near the 12-yard line. Slow to get up for Warren JFK is Isaac Hadley, but he's good to go. He's been slow to get up now for a while. Isaac, he plays defensive end and fullback, and that's an un, you know, not a popular position. You know, you take a lot of beating, a lot of bruising them shoulders. You know, at the end of the night, you're feeling it. It's a gain of eight. It's Ryan Douglas working hard for yards. So we're approaching the seven-minute mark here in this fourth quarter. 42-14 is our score. Stallman. Back to throw again. Looking downfield. Firing near side. Absolutely. You'll see the defender just slipped and fell down, and then you'll see all the rest of the work is done by Zilka. 
He's moving fast with nice long strides. What an exciting play. So champion is the, the, the team of big plays, you know. All their scoring plays have been over 80 yards. Right. To see a good shot of Coach Wagner there. And, you know, hats off to him for keeping on coaching. You know, that's it's a situation where coaches, you know, at times can just kind of, you know, move on to the next game, but he's fought through it. Nice job. Extra point by Worley up and good. 6.48 left of the game. 42-21 JFK. Live on the high school football game of the week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Find new roads to the home of the $129 zero down payment at the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Right now, you can choose from over 200 brand new GMC terrains, and you can lease one from only $129 a month, and that's with zero down. Or take home a new Buick Encore for only $145 a month with zero down. And truck buyers, you can drive away in a tough new Silverado for only $169 a month with zero down. All at the store where you can get a new terrain for only $129 a month. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. The Baranski Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. Journey where this path may lead and live as big as giants. Summer sun and feeling free. Sparkle just like diamonds. Freedom awaits you this summer. Hurry in now and get an additional $500 Labor Day bonus cash on most 2017 Jeep brand vehicles. Finance and get an average $7,025 in total values on the purchase of a 2017 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Register today for the third annual Dr. Susan K. Leone Memorial Golf Scramble for Storoderma on August 12th at Mill Creek Golf Course in Boardman. That's Saturday, August 12th, 9 a.m. at Mill Creek Golf Course. For more information, go to sfohio.org. That's sfohio.org. Register today. All proceeds benefit the Scleroderma Foundation, dedicated to support, education, and research. Go to sfohio.org. Just think, what if we didn't have local TV and radio? Where would I go for local sports, local politics, a mayor, city council, stuff that affects me every day? How about health? Who's covering things that endanger my family? I need to know now, as it happens, from sources I trust, people in my community. No agenda, no bias like you find on cable and social media. Just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local station. Text TV to 52886 today. For all your in-depth community news, visit WITV.com. A little more pep in the step of the champion Golden Flashes, who... Just struck with a huge home run ball to cut the deficit to 42 to 21 in favor of Horn JFK. Jacob Zilka on the receiving end of that 89-yard touchdown pass from Nick Stallman. But there is only 648 left. And that kickoff from Noah Worley will roll and roll into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. First and ten for Warren JFK. Say every week we will pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during the contest. It's sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and Pizza Joe's. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. This is close enough, Chad, where you just got to be very careful if you're JFK. Come out here and get a couple of first downs. And if you're able to score quick, that'd be good, too. But, you know, a turnover or a quick three and out, the champion were to have a little bit of luck, you just never know. You know, especially at this level of football, you just never know at the high school level. You know, young guys out there, mental mistakes happen. So let's see if, if JFK can go back to work on offense. So first down and 10. For Warren JFK, we had a new quarterback in on the last series. Morantis turns, pitches, Edmondson trying to cut the corner, still on his feet. Boy, a lot of running backs would have headed out of bounds there. He says, nope, I'm going to cut it back up inside. Yeah, he sure did. And then 
here comes number two, Nate Stallman. We're used to seeing him carrying the football tonight, but he did a nice job. Watch at the end of the play, and look where he's at. Okay, Stallman, you see him? He just went out to the picture on the left. Watch this. This is what running to the football is all about. Edmondson's doing his thing, makes a cut back, and then watch Stallman come flying back into the picture right there. That's Stallman coming in and lowering his shoulder. Nice job. Good effort by the leader of this football team, a star player. 42-21 is our score. Kennedy would love to put this thing to bed with a long drive and eat as much clock as possible. Christian Morantis will work with Edmondson in the backfield. Now you see Morantis looking at the clock, winding it down as much as possible. And this is a run play to Isaac Hadley up the middle for very, very little. In fact, he did a good job to get back to the line of scrimmage. Those big guys from JFK up front, they got to continue to fire off the, the line of scrimmage and make sure that they're finishing this football game out strong. You got most of the starters still out there. So the one thing that you got to be careful about is, you know, keeping your feet moving and making sure you don't get rolled up in a pile or anything like that. You see, we got a, we got an injury here, number 84 for champion. And that injured party is Cody Lamb. Yeah, he's dealing with a little, another arm slash shoulder elbow area. So I tell you what, if you're an upper extremity doc in the area, <laughs> you may be seeing some guys tomorrow at the clinic. Second down and 10 upcoming for Kennedy as Jordan Edmondson takes the pitch and falls forward. A pickup of about two yards. We're approaching the five-minute mark in a 42-21 football game. Just like to remind you that tonight we're just getting started. We'll be back with you both on Friday and Saturday. Get you those details here in just a moment. Salem is where we'll be tomorrow night, Riley Stadium. Quakers hosting East Palestine. You can see it tomorrow night at 11 over on Fox Youngstown. Edmondson again takes the pitch. He cuts the corner, 35-40. Edmondson lowers the shoulder and is pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Boy, small in stature, but big in heart. Yeah, he sure does. He runs hard. He's not afraid of contact. And you know, overall, just looks like a very well-polished running back. You'll see here on the, on the pitch, they got the ball way to the outside. And you just kind of notice that he knows how to use the patience when he needs to. He's able to, you know, drive his legs through some tackles and I like how he stuck his nose in there at the end and it wasn't going to shy away from contact. So first down and 10 from the 46-yard line. Clock is stopped at 439. Two wide receivers far side to the left. Kennedy will keep it on the ground. And they'll give it over the right side again. It is Edmondson. And I think he just got back to the line of scrimmage. As far as what lies ahead, first for Warren JFK. And that is not going to be an easy stretch. Of course, LeBray lost quite a bit. A lot of senior talent last year. Gerard, an outstanding quarterback with Mark Wade and Crestview. What can you say? They're good each and every single season, it seems. That should be a good ball game as well in just a few weeks. Second and 10 from the 46-yard line. Morantis muffs the ball and then tries to pick it up. There's the whistle. So we've seen uh, some exchange problems. But again, you'll have that with a young quarterback. Morantis is just a sophomore. Yeah, you get a nice view there. It looks like the snap is fine. It looks like Marantis may have been pulling out a little bit early on that, but uh, as you mentioned, the young guy, he'll figure it out. They'll work on that. You know, those are the little things, you know, that they show their ugly face week one, week two. You know, by the time week 10 comes around, it, you almost take those things for granted, the snap. These are the nice things, though, seeing him get in the huddle, able to call out some plays, you know, sort of take charge of the, of the huddle and the team. Those are the, the repetitions that are just invaluable. Third and 10. From the 46, Morantis turns and gives, and that play goes nowhere as Isaac Hadley 
was brought down immediately, and Kennedy will have to punt it away, you would imagine. While this possession is not looking like it's going to end in points for JFK, I would still call it, you know, somewhat successful. They, they took a clock at about six or so minutes, and now it's down to the 240 mark. You know, so all in all, they've accomplished a, one of their goals and, and just eating that clock away. You'll see Valent come back in to punt. He's the, the punter, the, the starting quarterback, so he's got to loosen back up and, and, and boot the ball here. So Kennedy will let the clock wind down. 2.18 left. Valent hits away a driving kick, and the fair catch is made at the 24-yard line. 2.12 left in week number one here in Champion. 42-21, Warren JFK of the high school football game of the week. Shop 24-7 at stadiumgm.com where you can view the entire inventory. It's go time at Dunkin' with two egg and cheese wake-up wraps for $2. Enjoy two freshly made oven-toasted wraps and keep on running all day long. America runs on Dunkin'. What's better than an iced or frozen coffee on a hot summer day? You're really cute and really Nothing. Nice. I think we should do hot Dunkin's got all your favorite flavors this summer. Keep cool out there, kids. America runs on Dunkin'. Hi, Rob Fellman for Boardman Subaru, where the Subaru A Lot to Love event is going on now. Come check out our huge selection of award-winning vehicles. Kelly Blue Book says Subaru is the best overall brand with the best resale value. Take advantage of 0% APR financing on select new models now through August 31st. The Subaru A Lot to Love event is going on now at the all-new Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. This situation is somewhat unique. I designed a system to prevent the next 9-11. That's where you'd come in. Help me stop what's about to happen. You might need a little extra help. I can't allow you to just execute people. They think I'm dirty. That's because you are. You said the machine would give us time. It didn't. Person of Interest, Sunday at 8 on MyYTV. Welcome to Daybreak 101. Today Len, we're going Len, to learn about the Len, morning news. What? Can I look at your notes? I wasn't listening. Tim, this is important. The Daybreak Nation depends on us to get them ready for the school day. But there's so much local news, weather on the threes, your nugget of knowledge, community events. How am I supposed to remember it all? Boys, pay attention. We do the homework so you don't have to. Weekday mornings starting at 5 a.m. on WYTV. And welcome back to Champion as we put the finishing touches on this one here tonight. Two minutes and 11 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Hope you've enjoyed our special Thursday night installment of the high school football game of the week. And we hope you'll be with us all season long. Tomorrow night we're headed to Salem, East Palestine and Salem. And then a good one coming up on Saturday as Stallman fakes the handoff. Rolling to the right side and he fires and it is caught. Jacob Zilka has had himself quite a ball game. Yeah, and for a receiver and a quarterback, you know, especially a young quarterback working with a, a senior tall receiver, these are valuable reps. And you know, just get familiar with each other, understand the way in which people run routes and, you know, see the ball coming at them. All in all, you, you know, nice, nice job tonight by quarterback and receiver making some big plays. Gain of seven, second down and three. A reminder coming up after the ball game. I'll head down to the field and visit with our player of the game. Boy, lots of candidates for this Kennedy group. But again, hats off to Nick Wagner and his very feisty champion team. They're a gritty group and they continue to scratch and claw all night long. 204 left, low snap, Stallman picks it up, and he's going to lower his shoulder and be pushed out of bounds. It'll be interesting to watch Champion, you know, as the season progresses now. You know, the last two seasons, they've been able to come away with a victory in week one. Obviously, they saw the schedule this year and knew they had the, the defending state champion, Warren JFK Eagles, to open the season this year. And so obviously, you know, coming away with a loss is going to be disappointing, but 
just to just to see how they react. You know, go back to practice this week, figure out how to get back on your feet, know what you have to do offensively, make some plays happen. You'll see right there, you know, out out yard by 200 tonight was champions offense 364 total yards of offense for jfk to the 163 of champion and that 163 really was that big long pass you know there for the touchdown third down and two upcoming for champion stallman looking firing incomplete as that one was intended for Jaden murray and it'll be fourth down and two. Those are some scary throws when you throw them across the middle like that up high and you force your receiver to leave his feet, you know, and he just, he becomes sort of a target. But uh, fortunately, he was able to walk away without taking a big shot there. So for all intents and purposes, fourth down in the game. With champion down by three touchdowns. Stallman directing traffic. He will send out two wide receivers near side to the left. And the slot is his brother, Nate Stallman. And they'll turn and they will give. And that's a big time lick delivered by Kennedy. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. Yeah, that's a big, big hit there. I think they might measure this one. It's it's no, they're going to say yeah, first down. Close. Yeah, it's wow. close. That was, watch the finish here, right? You see who the, the, the running back, while it was a big hit on defense, the running back actually finished that play. You know, so that, that extra effort got them the first down here and is going to allow them to continue to run a couple more offensive plays here. Alex Hensley made the tackle for JFK. They spoke too soon. First and 10 <laughs> from the 35-yard line. So if you're Coach Bay, you know, you wonder what are you going to get out of this tonight here? Obviously a victory, but, you know, there's going to be some nice film to go back and show his veteran ball club. Stallman back to throw, looking deep down the right side, incomplete. Pass was intended for Jacob Zilka on in coverage. Greg Vallant. A lot of good things happen for JFK, but, you know, obviously they're going to go back and take a look at their special teams. You know, they're going to want to work on that a little bit. I think that coach probably isn't happy with how they came out of the gate either, you know, so they'll probably look into what they can do to get going a little bit quicker next time, you know, next week as they face LeBray. And, and then if you're champion, again, we talked a lot about this all night long offensively. Just got to figure out some things, get some, you know, get some movement there and get some excitement going. But defensively, that's the thing that they're going to build upon. They're going to show their clips and show them playing gap sound defense, you know, early on. That was a nice battle there in the first quarter. Both defenses kind of going back and forth. Second and 10 inside the final minute of the ball game. Stallman back to throw, looking near side. Zilka makes the catch, and he's going to be wrestled down short of the 40 at about the 39. As that clock continues to wind on down. That's going to be his sixth catch of the football game. He's over about 125 yards in receiving, so... As you mentioned, a great night, obviously, the one big play, you know, the highlight reel type of play where he went over 80 yards for a touchdown. But, again, just things to build upon. It is week one. And, you know, Chad, we talked about this before. Losses early on, you can get over them. Yep. You know what I mean? It's not like you're losing in week eight or nine. Playoff rankings are on the line, and you just can't overcome a loss. Down to 12 seconds. In all likelihood, this will probably be the final play of the contest. Barring an incompletion, Stallman stepping up, Stallman rolling to the right side. Stallman has a first down as the clock hits triple zero. Final score in this one here tonight. Yeah, there's a penalty, a, there's flag. a penalty flag that came down. Got a late hit on number 33 <laughs> for Warren JFK. He was chasing him, showing great effort, but just had to pull up a little bit early. So you'll see this at the end of the end of the play there. So Khalil champion's Travis. gonna get one more crack. Yeah, I can't end on the defense ball. Play. Personal the defense will have one untimed down. So one untimed down. And that that right there, you'll see, that's a dangerous play because he was so close to the to the bench. You know, if you were to drive him into the bench there, you never know he could separate his shoulder or something crazy could happen. So, you know, again, that's something you don't want to see. 
And now Champion will call a timeout with zero seconds. 42, 21, our score. And again, working on some late game situations, maybe have one final play in a close game. Yeah, an opportunity to do something here, you know, just take an opportunity to coach. This is a coachable moment. Obviously, you see that coach sees something that he's not happy with, so he wants to make sure the guys understand. But uh, again, hats off to JFK. So we wish the best of luck to Nick Wagner and the rest of the season here and certainly across the way. We wish all the best to the Warren JFK Eagles as they progress through the 2017 campaign. All in all, you know, two Chad, two well-coached football teams. You know, we did see a couple of penalties, but you know, most of them were very, you know, very minimal. A couple of offsides, you know, but didn't see a lot of pushing and shoving. You know, respectful teams, all young men that seem to understand how to play the football game and have been coached well. So, and you know what else we didn't see a lot of here tonight? And I think the temperature outside helps. We didn't see a ton of cramping. You usually see that in week one. Yeah, yeah, definitely the temperature. I think there was a little bit of still exhaustion at times, guys stretching and whatnot. But usually you see some guys go down, need to call timeouts. Didn't happen. Here's the last time, untimed to play. Stallman looking near side, firing incomplete. And with that, the ball game is in the books. Now the final score from champion here tonight, Warren JFK 42, champion 21. And I'm heading down to visit with our player of the game. We'll have his comments coming up in just a bit. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the high school football game of the week. Good ideas catch on fast. Good clean food, even faster. Now delivering for lunch and dinner. Panera, food as it should be. Advice line, what can I help you with? Uh, I'm thinking of building a wall around my yard. Any suggestions? Just build it and make your neighbor pay for it. Next caller. Where can I get the most for my trade? Very silly question. Taylor Key of Boardman. They have the best trade deals. Believe me. Get up to $6,000 for your old car toward the purchase of a new 2017 Kia Sorento LX SUV. 2017 Kia Forte LX. $159 per month lease. If you have a job bringing home three fifty dollars per week, we want to approve you at TaylorKiaOfBoardman.com. So we're at a place right now that's really near and dear to my heart. Mosquito Lake State Park in uh, Trumbull County. I came here a lot as a kid, and I still come here to this day. Here we are at Bliss Hall. I'm a YSU graduate, so we're going to go inside right now. Take a quick tour. Dr. Amy Crawford, who was one of my professors. Yeah, I actually got started uh, with the Penguin Rundown and shooting sports here at YSU. It's grown from what it once was, and uh, it's a lot more updated. Local news from local people. Weeknights at 6 and 11 on 33 WYTV. High school football is back, and the WKBN 27 High School Football Game of the Week is your only ticket to all the fast-paced, non-stop action from the biggest games and rivalries every week. This week, reigning state champion Warren JFK takes on champion the WKBN 27 High School Football Game of the Week, live Thursday at 7, only on MyYTV, sponsored by Stadium GL. Wherever, whoever you are, we'll deliver lunch or dinner right to you. Panera, food as it should be. Well, welcome back to Champion Community Stadium. You'll see the final score tonight was 42 to 21. Warren JFK kicks off week one of the 2017 season with the victory. Chad Kraspinski will be right back with you with the player of the week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Here we are at Bliss Hall. I'm a YSU graduate. 
So we're gonna go inside right now. This is actually where I spent most of my time. It's grown from what it once was, and uh, it's a lot more updated. I may not be from the Mahoning Valley, but I am from the Beaver Valley. I made a ton of memories across this border. So when we would have the storm warnings, I would start at that window. We had a shelter in the corner of the basement. I remember once making Nana go down there and sit. Yes, my, my mother. Local news yeah, mother. from local people. Weeknights at 6 and 11 on 33 WYTV. In entertainment, anything can happen. And when you're live, it always does. Look who's with me, Natalie Morales. Check out those <laughs> Natalie Morales, Kit Hoover. Hollywood is serious business. Seriously fun. This is the dream team. They got you covered. We do. It's a beautiful beginning. The start of a gorgeous relationship. It is. And a real live friendship. I'm so glad you're here. Access Hollywood Live. Weekdays at noon on 33 WYTV. Kevin James is America's favorite lover boy. You gotta stay in the mood. Right. Hey, it's all coming back. And you'll love him on The King of Queens. You were a real tiger. No, you were. No, you were. Share the laughs with a love affair that's still going strong. Carry me upstairs and have your way with me. Just lift with your legs. The King of Queens. What are you, a Rottweiler? Feel the love five nights a week. It's a dog queen! King of Queens. Weekdays at 7.30 on MyYTV. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Champion High School, where we have polished off our opener in the 2017 high school football regular season. Warren JFK coming away with a 42-21 victory of the Golden Flashes from Champion High School. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, so pleased to be joined by our Player of the Game, which is brought to you by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing and Pizza Joe's. Jordan Edmondson, 137 yards, three touchdowns, first of all, to come out in week one as a team and put on a really impressive performance. How gratifying is this for you as a team? Man, this is, a, this is our first game throughout the whole season. It feels great going out 1-0. It, like... It, mean, it means a lot. It means a lot to me and my teammates, especially, like, the blocking. Oh, my. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. And then uh, our passing game, I, that was good, too. That was good, too. Um, our running for running, the, the block, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about all the weapons that you have. Of course, you're the speed back. You've got so much other talent in the backfield. Hadley, Scott, Valant running the ball. You guys are very dangerous because any number of guys could come through in a big way, right? Tell me about all the weapons that you guys have to use through games. Isaac Hadley, he's, <laughs> he's our big fullback, yeah. He, he's good. Um, Tommy, Tommy Inovich, he's one of our Zs. He's, he's pretty fast. Alec Brzezinski, he's also one of our Zs. He's one of the hardest hitters. Mike, he's one of the hardest hitters on our team, for sure. Of course, you're new to the team here, transferring in, and you join a team that won a state championship last year. Um, what does a win like this do as you come in as a team? Because obviously the goal is to be back at the state championship game when this one is all said and done. How does a win like this help your confidence? It gets our motivation going, for sure. That's for sure. And then a win, first win of the whole, like, whole season, regular season, that just sets momentum. That sets the whole momentum. Well, congratulations. Go enjoy this one with your teammates. Thank you. That is our player of the game, Jordan Edmondson. 137 yards and three touchdowns in his Warren JFK debut as Warren JFK comes up with an impressive victory in game number one, 42 to 21 over champion. We hope you've enjoyed this ball game here in game number one from Champion High School, and we hope you'll join us coming up tomorrow night. We'll be at Riley Stadium in Salem as the Quakers will host East Palestine and you can see that one tomorrow night at 11 over on Fox Youngstown. For all of us here at WKBN, for Brian Mallott, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, Warren JFK 42, Champion 21. Till next time, so long everybody from Champion.